In the final hours of the campaign, Matthew Guy is hoping he's finally got the Midas touch. Oh, it's taken me four years to find gold. <laughs> Mining for votes in safe Labor territory in Ballarat, he brought his credit card, pledging millions for Sovereign Hill. Don't miss this chance. Don't wake up on Sunday with a Daniel Andrews hangover. But the opposition leader had a headache of his own, forced to defend his fumbling shadow treasurer. Uh, what I can say, well, the first thing is... Um, who couldn't say yesterday how much spending the coalition's promised during the campaign. That's not a question for myself, but what I would say to you is that those figures are straightforward and sensible. That figure is $28 billion, nearly triple what Labor's promised. And to find that cash, the coalition will lease the state's sewerage, move $2 billion from medical research to manufacturing and raid $10 billion from the Future Fund. Future funds are for the future, not for David Davis to essentially clean out to try and make all of his sums add up. Nearly half of eligible Victorians have already voted, including the Premier, who cast his ballot in the CBD with his family last night. Having us all in one place is quite challenging. Uh, last night meant that we were able to vote together. Are you cooking or what? Today, Daniel Andrews was trying to cook up support in Northcote for the third time this campaign as he fends off a challenge from the Greens, promising kinder grants for toys and play equipment. Of course we would be at a kinder because only Labor will make kinder free. Tomorrow it boils down to a contest between these two men. Daniel Andrews is seeking a historic third term, while Matthew Guy is trying to convince voters again he deserves a shot. A vote for Labor is a vote to cut your bills. We need a government and a Premier who unite us, not divide us. That's what my government and me, we will be. Regardless of the outcome, there'll still be plenty of questions for both leaders to answer. Bridget Wollison, ABC News, Melbourne.